Today I'm cooking a simple and easy stir fry black pepper fish for dinner. This recipe is for 4 servings. The ingredients needed are 500 grams of frozen fish fillet. This is garupa fish, thaw for an hour. 6 tablespoons of homemade crispy flour mix, 300 grams of capsicums or bell pepper, 60 ml of ice cold water, 1 and half tablespoon of garlic oil, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 teaspoon of black coarse pepper, and half tablespoon of crispy fried garlic. The full list of ingredients is in the Seymour link. Prepare the capsicums, remove the stem, and cut it into half. Remove the seeds. And cut it into 1 inch square. Put them in a bowl and repeat for the other two colors. Set aside. Next, remove the fish from the packet. After thawing, there is usually a lot of water in the packet like this. Be careful when cutting the packet as it might splash the fishy water. Take the fish out one by one and put on another plate. Since the fish fillet are quite big, cut them into half to get bite-sized pieces. For me, it is easier to cut with the scissor, but the knife works well too. Next, marinate the fish. Put all the fish in a large basin. Sprinkle half of the salt on the fish and gently rub to marinate. Rotate the fish. Sprinkle the other half of the salt and rub. Alright, the fish is done. Leave aside for 10 to 15 minutes to marinate. Switch on the heat to medium. Put about 800 grams of cooking oil in the frying pan. Set the time for 10 minutes to heat up the oil for deep frying. Right before frying the fish, prepare the crispy flour batter. Put all the crispy flour mix in a large mixing bowl. Add in 60 ml of ice cold water. Whisk until well combined. The consistency should be slightly thick. Like this. Add all the marinated fish fillets and gently mix until all the fish pieces are coated with the flour batter. As they contain some liquid. The consistency will be perfect for deep frying once well mixed. This is perfect. Let's fry it. Dip a cooking wooden chopstick in the hot oil. If bubbles form up like this, it means the oil is ready for deep frying. Use a pair of tongs to drop in the fish fillet one by one. Distribute and spread it all over the pan. Leave it to fry for 6 minutes or until cooked and crispy at the bottom of the pan. After 6 minutes, the fish should be cooked and separate from the pan. Turn the fish to cook the other side. See, fish are slightly brown. Carefully cut the pieces that are stuck together with a pair of dry scissors, as hot oil splash can occur. Okay, all the fish pieces are separated. Continue to fry them for another 5 more minutes. After 5 minutes, the fish is cooked and golden brown. Remove them from the oil with the strainer, shaking a little to drip off the excess oil. Leave it on the cooling rack. Switch on the heat to medium. Add 1.5 tablespoon of garlic oil in another pan and wait for the oil to heat up. Once the oil is hot, add all the washed capsicums half of the crispy fried garlic and oyster sauce. Lightly stir to mix. Add half of the coarse black pepper. Stir and mix for 2 minutes or until capsicum are cooked. After 2 minutes, they are getting slightly soft. This is perfect for me. If you prefer to be softer, continue to cook for 2 more minutes. Add in all the fried fish and the balance of coarse black pepper. 
Stir for about 20 seconds or until the black pepper is well distributed around the fish and capsicums. Notice that I didn't add water or gravy to this dish as I do not want the crispy flour to absorb liquid and become soggy. If some gravy and soft fish is preferred, a little water can be added. Next, add a little bit of crispy fried garlic for fragrance. Stir for a final mix. Then, switch off the heat. And the simple stir-fry black pepper fish is done. Let's dish out and serve. Garnish with the rest of the crispy fried garlic. Let's eat! So good! The fish is still crispy and delicious. While the capsicum are sweet and still crunchy, there is mild heat from the black pepper too. This goes so well with the fluffy white rice. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed this video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye!